Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is App Maker for Life, and today I'll be showing you. Uh, this is a two-video series of how to get started with um, your develop developer program, the ninety-nine dollar developer program, and get it get your app, your finished app, up on the iTunes App Store. Okay, so this is how it's gonna go. First off, well, as soon as you uh, after you get your probably are um, familiar with mem the member center as you would have had to use this to get your iOS um, to get like to get into the uh, program so uh, you probably are wondering how you get your app in it's actually a quite complicated process so I'm here to uh, clear it up for you guys okay so go into member center and from there you probably you want you want to go to provisioning iOS provisioning profile and from there you want to launch assistant right here and ooh, why is that okay and continue well this is pretty straightforward I'll guide you through it the best I can I can't go through all of it but it'll be pretty easy to get through well I've already done this so it it's pretty straightforward so you should be uh, well I already have an app ID so I don't want to create another one but it's pretty straightforward you just uh, fill in the blanks and answer what Apple asks you and once you do that you'll have a device um, uh, registered to your uh, to your profile and you'll have um, one certificate made You'll have an app ID, and in your provisioning profile, you will have a development provisioning profile. This is what Apple doesn't do, and this is what you have to do to get your app on the App Store. This provisioning profile, development provisioning profile, just allows you to run the app on your device. That's not enough for us, though, because we want to put the app not only on our device, but up on the App Store. So you want to go into distribution and click click new profile and from here you want to create a new profile I'm not I'm not gonna do this but it's straightforward again just write in your profile name and it should check with your distribution certificate app ID they should already have a selected thing that you just click it and click submit I'm not gonna click submit as I already have a, a distribution distribution provisioning profile Okay, and remember to click App Store right here, not Ad Hoc. Ad Hoc is like an in company thing. So uh, let's cancel. Okay, so once you have that, you want to download both of these the development provisioning profile and the distribution provisioning profile. And they should end up like right here. So you can see both of my provisioning profile. You want to click and drag them right into the Xcode, right into Xcode. And once you have that in there, oops, what? Uh, let me just that shouldn't be there yeah okay once you have that in there you should be able to run your app on your device without that error that comes up and uh, the um, distribution allows you to distrib well you'll see it'll be important in the future well if you want well, you only download this and put it on if you want to put your app on the App Store. And so now you should have your entire, uh, you should have your app running on your iPod and or iPhone or iPad, and it should be working uh, on your device. And you should now, like, you guys should make sure that it works, as we will be submitting it to the iTunes App Store in the next video. Uh, this is four minutes but I'll just uh, the next video is another uh, part of it so I'll put the link to the next video right in this box and just click it and go to my next video okay thank you guys uh, like and subscribe